Once a poor Brahmin knocked on the door of a wealthy person and said, Is anyone there? Who are you? I do not recognize you. My lord, I am a traveler going to Kashi on pilgrimage. Now while the sun is setting, I have reached your city. So you please, please give me shelter in your house tonight. At the crack of dawn, I'll leave towards my destination. The owner took pity on the poor Brahmin and he said at once, Oh, come in, come in, please come in. I have no problem at all. I'll get a chance to serve you. I consider these to be my honor. Wow, how generous you are. May your seven generations be prosperous. The owner gave shelter to the Brahmin in his house. He fed him properly and gave him a separate room to sleep. Tired of walking through the day, the Brahmin soon fell asleep. Those days, robberies had been on the increase in Delhi. The government had also increased patrolling at night. Keep awake! Keep awake! Keep awake! Keep awake! Unfortunately, one of the patrolling police himself was stealing and taking the loot to his house. The thief broke the wall of the room which was given by the owner to the Brahmin to sleep and moved slowly towards a closed box in that room. Police opened the box and checked and found expensive jewellery in that. He immediately took the box and started leaving. While leaving, his leg touched the sleeping Brahmin. Brahmin caught hold of the leg immediately and started shouting, Thief! Thief! The thief told the Brahmin, Leave! Hey Brahmin, leave my leg or else... No, no, no! I have been given shelter here. The owner's problem is my problem. I will not allow you to go away from here. Run, run, help! From his talk, the thief understood that the Brahmin was a guest in that house. He lured the Brahmin by saying, There is a lot of jewellery in this chest. We will go out and split this equally. No, no. I can never do such a weak thing. And you are in a uniform of a soldier. And you are yourself stealing. When the thief realized, that he will be blamed for the robbery. He started shouting loudly. Hello, sir. Huh? Hello, sir. Your guest has broken the wall and is getting away with the no. chest. No. See, I have caught him. Hearing the noise in the room, the owner came there. The police had kept the chest down and was holding the Brahmin. On seeing the owner, the policeman said, My lord, see, this is your thief. He was trying to run away with the chest. I have no. caught him. No, no my lord, he is lying. He was actually trying to steal inside and I have caught him. The owner could not believe what the Brahman said. He felt that this Brahmin had planned and entered his house and stolen at the right opportunity. He said, Said, I took pity on you and this is how you repay me. Now only the emperor will decide what is to be done with you. The next day, the owner of the house along with the Brahmin and the soldier came to Akbar's palace. He explained to Emperor Akbar all that had taken place the previous night. Akbar said to Birbal, Birbal, let us you decide on this case. Okay, my lord. Now tell me, 
who this man is and how did he come to your house i am a traveler on a pilgrimage to kashi sir upon his request i gave him shelter but uh... no my lord this soldier broke the wall and he was running away with the chest he 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 is lying he has stolen the chest while this argument was taking place when another soldier came and said jahapna please forgive me i am interfering in your proceedings but my lord my work is like that speak out jahapna my son and myself we went to the hanuman temple outside the village we were coming out after praying when my son fainted and he fell on the floor jahapna i am scared i don't even have the courage to lift him kindly send two people with me you don't worry about your son i will make the necessary arrangements you have to do an important duty here so you don't go there the two of you go to the hanuman temple and bring the child here on your return we shall solve your problem understood the soldier knew where the temple was on birbal's instructions he took the brahmin to the temple they put the fainted boy in the top cloth of the brahmin and returned on the way back the brahmin told the soldier you thief actually you have broken the wall you were only stealing there even then in front of everyone you accused me of stealing brahman what you say is true but i was ready to split the jewelry in the chest with you but you did not listen to me now you suffer the consequence of being good talking along the way with the child they came to the palace the father of the child made him lie down in a palace he too sat over there now birbal asked the two of them once again now tell me the truth which of the two stole the chest he did jahapana i am a soldier in this kingdom my job is to protect how can i steal hey protector you are the real thief i have heard everything that you have spoken you broke the wall and ran off with the chest of jewels when the truth came to light the courtiers were shocked birbal immediately pronounced a jail sentence for the soldier and he declared the brahmin innocent akbar could not contain himself he asked the second soldier tell me Your son was supposed to have fainted. Who fainted, my lord? In order to find the culprit, Birbal made my son lie down there and asked me to play act. Hearing this, the emperor showered praises on Birbal. And those jealous of Birbal became more jealous of him. <laughs>